Hi boys and girls, we are going to learn something new today and that is how to upload something to the blog. Uploading means you take something that's on your computer and send it up to the internet so that anybody who has the password can look at it and admire your work. That anybody, let's say if you have somebody in Springfield, they can see it like your parents. Maybe you have people in Florida or California or somewhere else, even in China. As long as someone has the password, they can look online and see your blog. They can read what you wrote and they can see the word cloud once we upload it. All right, let's see how to do that. Here we are on my wiki page. You know how to get there. And you can get to the blogs right now from my link here at grade one or you can scroll down and right here is a link to kid blogs that's where we're going so let's do that here's our kid blogs all right so let's say we are in mr love's class and here's all the blogs now we have to do something first if you don't remember what it is, you'll soon find out because if I click on someone's post here, it says you must log in to read this. So up here is login. And you should select your name. I'm going to log in with my name. And remember your password is P L A Y. And we just keep that to ourselves. Uh, your parents have a different login. And I sent that out, Dr. Mitchell sent that out, and if they don't know what it is, tell them to email me and I'll be happy to get that to them. All right, now I got myself on Rachel's blog here, so I need to go to all blogs. And to upload, we're going to make a new post. New post is right here. Let's click that. And then remember we did this before. You need a title right here. And titles should begin with an uppercase letter. That's right. All right. Your title is my, oops, I spelled that wrong. I'm backspacing to fix that my word cloud and I'll write that on the board for you so you can type it without trouble now we're going to click down in the message area so that I see my cursor that's your cursor flashing right there and you see this teeny little icon here this little one that looks like a camera and some musical notes that's the one we want. I'm going to click right there. And, and when we click that little icon, we get a box like this. And this says what? Select files. So that means we're going to click this button and then find the file that we want, which is the word cloud file. Here I go. Click. Now, do you remember where we saved that word cloud file? Yes, to the My Documents folder. So we look right over here, and it actually does not say My Documents, it says Documents. And that's the one we want. So I'm clicking. And I probably have way more documents than you do, but I'll scroll down. There we go. And here is my word cloud. I know that it's the word cloud, or I know that it's a picture, because this icon right here looks like a picture. If you see something else, like this with a W, that means it's a Microsoft Word file, and that's not a picture. So 
we are going to take this one. So you can either double click it or click once and click open. Either way. So here I go, double clicking. And then it's uploaded. And we're not quite finished yet. There's one more step. Scroll down. And this says what? Insert into post. Your post is your message that you're making. All right, let's click it. So there it is. We haven't published yet. It's just here we're working on it. Now we would like to put a little sentence under, either underneath or above it, doesn't really matter. But you have to get your cursor in the right spot. So I'm going to click out here. You don't really see the cursor, but I know it's there. So then I hit enter. And maybe a couple times. So that I have some space here. I think yours will probably make some space at the bottom. It doesn't matter but click your cursor so that you see it flashing where you want to write. So let's write a little something, just a sentence or so, and it begins with what? What does a sentence begin with? Yes, an uppercase letter. So I'm going to say, how do you like my word cloud? A question mark is like this. You hold down the shift key and tap the question mark key, which is on the other, on the right hand side of your keyboard. There it is. How do you like my word cloud? Are we done yet? No, we are not because it hasn't been published. If you don't publish it, that means it won't be online and nobody will see it. So here we go. Publish is right here. Publish. Let's click it. And here is my blog, and that has everything on it that I've written. So here's my word cloud. Pretty neat. And these are other things that I've written. If I had comments from other people, I would see them here too. So if you want to see um, your your posts and your comments, you go to my blog and it will say whatever your name is up here. Now to look at other people's word clouds and see their posts, we go back to all blogs. And here's mine. You know it's mine because it says so right there. And if you want to leave a comment, you click on it and let's admire the beautiful word cloud and leave a comment right down here. Don't forget you click submit when you're finished. And that's all there is to it. Go to it.